Hi guys, Kimberly Cherry here with another My Little Pony tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can curl your pony's hair in a really, really pretty style with no curlers and no straws. What we're going to be using today is end papers like perming papers and two rubber bands. I'm using small ones, you can use bigger ones and just double or triple wrap. I have already gone ahead and thoroughly soaked, and I do mean thoroughly soaked, her hair. Usually I will soak the pony's hair in very, very, very hot water. Okay, so I've combed it out good. All we're going to do is take her wet hair and keeping the hair tight, we're going to bring it around. And of course, you could do this with any pony, any generation and just wrap it around her leg. That's going to give you a fairly nice tight curl. And to keep her hair nice and smooth, we're going to take one of the end papers and wrap it around like so. And to make sure I've got all the hair smooth, I'm going to, when I get it around, I'm going to pull it in the direction that the hair is going so that I don't get any bent pieces. And then I'm going to take one of my little uh, rubber bands and just place it around the paper, holding the paper in place. Ugh. Like this. If I had hair that was uh, different lengths, I might would go and put like two rubber bands on one leg. But for this pony, I, I did go ahead and trim the hair up so that it was even lengths before. I, um, <clears throat> before we, I can't talk. I did trim her up before I sat down. So all of this hair is pretty much the same length. So I don't have to worry too much about strays and needing to wrap it over and over and over again. And we're going to do the same thing with the back leg here. Just pulling it tight. Doesn't really matter which leg. I'm going to go with this other leg just because I don't want too much action going on in the front. I'm just wrap it around. <laughs> and this can be a little tedious if the pony's legs are really close together. Like, hmm. Like this. Patience is a virtue. I tell myself, I tell myself that so many times on a daily basis. Patience is a virtue, Cherry. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. And I know it, and I believe it, and I'm still trying to learn to have it. All right, there we go. So we're going to take one of these little papers here and wrap it around. Again, very tedious because her legs are so close together, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, oh my god, a little my piece is sticking out. It's not cool. So I'm just gonna twist it around some more. Alright, there we go. Let's plop it right down on here. Lasso. And making sure that forelock is nice and stuck to her scalp there. I don't want an antenna. We're not looking for an antenna pony here. And okay. And there we go. And I do have a couple of, yeah, I don't think you can see it. I do have a couple of little stray pieces, but I'm not going to sweat those. Uh, if they're really, really annoying, we'll just trim them up tomorrow. So, how easy was that? How easy was that? We'll come back tomorrow and take it all out and see what kind of girls we got. Oh, you know, I may boil for her, but I don't, do, I just shut up. Just shut up. We'll see what I do. Okay, and now we're back. Oh, it's probably about 27 hours later or so. She is completely dry. So let's take the bands off of her little legs. We may or may not be able to salvage this paper. Oh, yeah, it still looks good. Uh, you can keep a packet of papers a lot longer if you don't throw them away every time you use them. Look at that! Oh my gosh, so pretty! Let's take off the back one. Uh-oh, I ripped the paper that time. Oopsie doopsie. 
Yipsy deepsy. Okay. I can't get it off. Get it off. There. Ah, tried not to do that. All right. And we're just gonna pull it right off of her little leg, nice and gently. On to. Come on, get off. That's how we do that. All right. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. That looks really, really nice. Now, obviously, you can leave it this way. Or, if you would like to have some separate curls. Now, this is not going to give you the uniformed look. Obviously, the ringlets with rods are going to do. Because you're going to have to very carefully separate the hairs out. Like this. And that's going to create some, I don't know what the heck you'd call that. What's the, what's the difference between, what's the opposite of un, uni, uni, uniformity? I can't even say that word. I'm just pulling them all apart nice and gently. I don't want any tangles. Alright, so I've got four here. And all I'm going to do is just twist them back in the direction that they were originally going. All right. So, here I've got just one little curl that looks like the original. And again, and again, and again. And I'm going to do that with all four. Like so. Wind it around my finger. Make it a little easier. That one's kind of thick. I could probably split that one again, but I'm not going to. See? Oh, that is quite lovely. I don't know if I want to do that. I guess I want to do some Yeah, let's do it with the main two. And in this case, I'm going to separate them by color. I'm not going to try to be terribly precise or picky, but I'm going to do them by color here. So there's pink. And peach. And what the heck? I got a little bit of pink over here in my yellow. How did that happen? And then separate the yellow and the blue. And again, I'm just going to form those curls back up. I'm trying to do them the wrong direction. That doesn't work real well. And there you go. That is how you can put really, really, really lovely curls in your ponies. Hair without using straws or rods. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye!